Hi, my name is Dr. Campbell. Today I want to talk about how can teachers avoid the perception of systemic racism. The war on systemic racism continues to forge forward and the battle will eventually take place in the classroom. Teachers who are unprepared will suffer the most and become publicly ridiculed, resulting in a drastically reduced teaching force for which the next generations will pay for dearly. Teachers must distance themselves from accusations of disproportionate discipline and establish and maintain positive classroom relationships to avoid the pitfalls associated with systemic racism. Now, according to an article which is titled, Parents Say York Region School Board Has No Plan to Deal with Allegations of Systemic Racism, several parents of color have voiced their disappointment with the York Region School Board decisions and procedures to eliminate alleged systemic racism at the school district. The allegations are a result of alleged behavior of several staff members. In one incident, the principal of Sel Wilford Laura Public School in uh, Canada published several posts on Facebook about Islam and refugees that some parents reported as offensive. One of the posts suggested banning burqas in Europe. In another incident, a teacher insulted a black student in a class where the majority of students were white by telling the white student to check their bags to ensure that the black student had not stolen anything. The York Region School Board has responded to these incidents by reviewing and recommending updates for existing school policies. This response has infuriated parents due to lack of transparency and the refusal to respond to previous allegations of systemic racism. One parent responded that, and this is a quote, the tone of the meeting seems to be the same as what we've experienced over the last year. The problem itself is not being addressed. And to hear the board talk about policies in place, they were in place and we still had the issue, end of quote. And so the first question is, what are the primary components of systemic racism in schools. First, you have to look at the structure of the school from a systemic perspective. Bolin and Deal recommended evaluating organizations from a human resource, symbolic, structural, and political perspectives. The first major component is human resource. The human resource perspective includes the needs of students, teachers, school administrators, district administrators, support staff, and the governing body, which in the school, which is the school board members. Now, the next is a symbolic perspective. The culture of a school is represented and communicated by the usage of symbols. Symbols include, but not, uh, but are not limited to values, vision, rituals, and ceremonies. Values define the fundamental tenets of the school. Vision is the image of the school's purpose. Rituals include those day-to-day -day routines. Ceremonies are the culminating activities that are associated with rituals. Next is the structural perspective. The structural perspective is the blueprint of formal expectations and exchange amongst those who are part of the human resource perspective. The structural perspective includes vertical coordination, lateral coordination, and structural imperatives. Vertical coordination is represented by legitimized authority, rules and policies, as well as planning and control systems. Lateral coordination is represented by meetings, task force, coordinating roles, matrix structure, and networks. Structural imperatives include size and age, core processes, environment, strategy and goals, information, technology, and the nature of the organization. 
Politics is the final perspective, which is centered on the power, on power and decision making. Sources of power include position power, information and expertise, control of rewards, coercive power, alliances and networks, access and control of agendas, framing and the meaning of symbols, and personal power. Systemic racism can become a product of each individual perspective or a collective of all perspectives. Teachers will have to determine the perspective that will ensure that any allegations of systemic racism in the classroom are null and void. Many of the challenges associated with the accusations of systemic racism are related to either symbolic and st structural perspectives. Teachers have very little control over the human resource perspective because they have limited control over the students who are initially assigned to their class. Within the symbolic perspective, teachers have complete control over rituals and day-to-day -day operations of their class. The stru structural perspective provides teachers the opportunity to control expectations and exchanges. Teachers should have complete control over the political perspective because they are provided position power over students and have the authority to frame the meaning of symbols. And so how should teachers respond to allegations of systemic racism associated with the symbolic perspective. Teachers have total control over the day-to-day -day operations of the classroom. What many parents and civic organizations complain about is the outcome of those day-to-day -day operations. One detrimental outcome is disproportionate discipline. Teachers need to use the recelerate formula to ensure that they are not associated with systemic racism in the area of disproportionate discipline. How should teachers respond to allegations of systemic racism associated with the structural perspective? Teachers have control over the classroom expectations and exchanges. Many of the difficulties that are associated with systemic racism rise from those differences in expectations on a cultural level. Teachers can eliminate this systemic racism stigma by promoting positive teacher-student classroom relationships, otherwise known as pro pro proper ATs clerkships. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read about this article as well as other articles on our website at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. And of course, if you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line at 856-566-3267. Have a great day and thank you very much. Yeah, be sure to check out PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Check it. Love, uh, love, love. Pull your pencils out, classes in session. Let's focus on loving our neighbor without a question. Visit positiveracialrelationships.com. Lead a classroom together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out. That ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. You.